Hello and uh, today we'll be checking out our updated plugin that's the Mochinta to Mali Vendor Marketplace Advanced Commission plugin that basically gives the ability to the marketplace admin to set commission for the products, categories and the seller categories as well. So uh, basically the admin can uh, make use of the commission rules as well if required and if any product lies uh, under various categories on which the admin has set the commission then in this case the hash commission uh, will be applicable to the product and kindly note that the, this particular plugin that's the Machine to do multi vendor marketplace advanced commission is an add-on to the uh, multi vendor marketplace uh, plugin by webpool so first of all you'll have to have the marketplace and then you can make use of this particular functionality uh, to be able to set up uh, the advanced commission within the marketplace itself so uh, to give you just about the same uh, the admin can set the commission on the products and categories uh, can set commission on categories that are specific to the marketplace vendors the admin can set the commission on the products as well as categories all together the admin also has the option to decide whether uh, the type of the commission that would be applicable would be as the percentage or fixed for the categories and uh, as i've already told you commission on the product always gets the higher priority if the commission rules are not applied and uh, the admin can add multiple new commission rules can edit delete and create the commission rules as well as required so uh, as you can see i'm at the storefront uh, for the uh, uh, magento 2 platform based multi vendor marketplace by webcool and uh, here on, on one of the categories as you can see so right now i've added one uh, product that's the uh, men's jeans and this is of one of the marketplace vendors and uh, what i've done right now is uh, i'm just giving you a small demo of uh, how the uh, how the uh, advanced uh, commission works so uh, but before uh, proceeding further please do uh, first subscribe to our uh, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates Apart from that, if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up uh, before uh, going to any other video that you want to check out. And now, uh, uh, talking about uh, this particular mainstream uh, product, this uh, product is under the uh, category that's the clothing category. So, uh, if I show you that under the uh, Marketplace Windows account panel, so uh, here I'm at the uh, Marketplace Windows product, uh, that's the uh, men's jean and it comes under the uh, category that's the clothing that you can see right now. Now the admin has set up uh, the uh, commission rules as no, so he has set up the commission as fixed percentage and he has set up the uh, uh, commission as fixed of, that is $10 uh, for this particular category. Now uh, let me show you that as well in the admin backend panel. So here uh, we have the uh, marketplace advanced, uh, uh, what we see as the commission. So uh, after the successful installation, the admin will have the marketplace advanced commission add-on to the marketplace as well. And here you can see that we have the general settings. I've set the commission rules to no. So the commission type that would be applicable would be either fixed or percentage. And uh, you can see that uh, if in the case of a uh, fixed uh, commission type, if the product price is less than the admin's commission, then the marketplace global commission would be applicable to the same. So here uh, we'll be setting up the uh, per category commission. So I'll just tap that button up and that brings up this uh, particular section. So for the clothing, I've set the commission as 10. So for now, uh, let's make it as uh, eight. Okay, for a better understanding so the product that we have in the cart is uh, for ten dollars and uh, here I've set uh, the clothing category within which that particular product uh, falls off the vendor so the commission for that I've set it as uh, eight dollars let's save the configuration here and I'll just take you through the uh, storefront uh, uh, workflow of the customer for example we'll be adding the product placing the order and then we'll be checking the order details to check what commission has been applicable on that particular product when the commission rule is set to no and the commission type has been chosen as fixed so uh, let's go there and uh, now let's uh, proceed to the checkout uh, for the same so i'll also be showing you how we can set the uh, window wise or the marketplace seller wise commission uh, how we can set up the commission for the uh, products and categories and the rest of the options as well 
So here you can see that uh, I've chosen my uh, shipping address and the product is of $10. Now let me proceed further. Let me choose the shipping method and uh, let's choose the lowest, that's the fixed one. And let's tap next. And uh, thereafter the customer just needs to uh, choose his payment method. So uh, the customer doesn't have uh, to uh, know all this. This is for the marketplace vendor. So I'm just giving you a gist of how it works uh, when a product of a vendor falls under a certain category for which we have set the commission as $8. And from here, I'll just be placing the order first. All right, the order has been placed uh, by the customer. Now uh, let's go to the marketplace window account panel and uh, we'll be checking this particular order under the marketplace dashboard or the account uh, panel there. So here we have a notification for a new order. So I'll just tap here in the order history for the marketplace window. So here's the order number 576 uh, for the men's jeans that we've just uh, placed. Now let's tap here in the view order button. Now here we can see the fragmentation uh, for the uh, uh, commission. So right now you can see that the total price of this product was $10 and the admin commission is $8 applicable to the same. And the uh, vendor total that would be available for the vendor from this uh, sale would be $2. So here you can see that the total vendor amount is $2 and the total admin commission is $8. So that's how the admin can easily set up the uh, marketplace advanced uh, commission for the categories there. Now uh, I'll be taking you to the admin backend panel and uh, we'll be checking the rest of the features of the Mission to Do Multimedia Marketplace Advanced Commission plugin. So for that, let's uh, hop on to the admin backend panel now. So after the successful uh, login, you'll have to install your plugin and after that, we'll have to make uh, some initial configuration settings. And to make the initial configuration settings, uh, the admin needs to navigate to stores and then configuration. On the configuration page under the web cool block, the admin needs to uh, navigate to the marketplace advanced commission option. And that brings up the initial configuration settings uh, for the same. So here uh, under the general settings, the admin can make use of the commission rules. So uh, in the previous example, I showed you when the rules were uh, turned off. We chose the commission type as fixed and then we set the per category commission as $8 and that was applicable to the vendor's product as well. Now, uh, for example, you, the admin can choose to uh, make use of the commission rules as well and for that, uh, he'll have to uh, choose this option as a yes. Choosing this option as a yes uh, brings up the uh, round off price option. So uh, according uh, to this, if you have chosen this as a yes for the round off price, then the commission would be calculated on the round off price of product. And if you have chosen it as no, then the commission will not be calculated on the round off price of the product. So accordingly, you can choose a yes or a no for that. And then you'll have to tap here on the save configuration button. In the other case, if you choose this uh, use commission rules as no, then you can choose the commission type as fixed or percentage. And according to that, you can tap the set per uh, category commission and whatever amount or the numeric you enter here would be applicable as uh, the uh, percentage type. So if you're choosing it as fixed, uh, then whatever you set here would be set as the amount in dollars uh, and it would be a fixed commission. Now, after this, just tap here in the save configuration button to uh, save your configuration. So now we'll be checking the commission rules. So you'll have to tap here in the save configuration button. Now, after that, so uh, you have seen that how we can set the uh, per category ca uh, commission from here. Now, uh, let me navigate uh, through catalog and uh, categories. And from here as well, the uh, marketplace admin can set up the uh, per category uh, commission. So uh, let the uh, category section come up and uh, we can choose any of the categories there and can set up the advanced commission for the same. So here for the uh, default one that's already selected here and highlighted in pink, you can see that uh, it's the default category and the commission for this is uh, 20. And uh, if any product falls under the default category, then uh, depending upon the fixed or percentage, whatever amount you have set, that would be applicable uh, to the respective product that would be sold out of the marketplace vendors. Now, uh, 
Now, under here, uh, can you know that, for example, we have a lot of uh, different uh, categories. We have set up the uh, commission for each of them. Now, if a product uh, is there that uh, falls under multiple categories, so for example, if I have a T-shirt that falls on, under each and every category, then how would the uh, commission be applicable to that? Now, in that case, if any product lies under various categories, uh, for which the admin has set up the commission, then in that case, the highest commission uh, that would be uh, applicable to the category within which the uh, product lies, that highest uh, commission would be applicable to the uh, product itself. So uh, this is how we can also set the uh, uh, commission from here as well. So if I go to the clothing one, if I tap on that, it brings up the uh, category name, that's clothing, along with the commission that we have uh, set up for the same so here you can see that for the clothing one uh we have set the commission as eight as we just saw so in the uh, store uh, front when we place the order there so that was how we can set up the uh, category commission from the catalog and then category section as well and apart from that we also saw how we can do it in the initial configuration settings as well now let's see how the admin can uh, set the uh, marketplace window category commission and uh, for that uh, the uh, marketplace admin needs to navigate through uh, customer and then all customers and here uh, within the list the uh, marketplace admin can uh, choose any of the uh, marketplace windows uh, and uh, for that window uh, the admin can then uh, set the commission so for example uh, let's uh, go for uh, John Doe all right and uh, we'll just uh, Scroll to the right and I'll just uh, tap here as uh, on the edit link under the actions column for the respective window. Now that will bring up uh, the uh, information of the uh, customer information uh, section and uh, from here the admin can set up the uh, category commission per seller wise as well. So the very first thing that we were seeing there for the category that's applicable to all the marketplace vendors. Now, if you want to have the category commission for the respective sellers, come uh, navigate to the customers, all customers, choose a particular vendor. Under the customer information, uh, you'll have to uh, go to the uh, category commission as you can see. Tap on that and here we can see the category commission section for this respective customer uh, vendor. And from here, you can set up uh, the value uh, for the uh, different categories wherein the vendor is going to add his products to. So for this vendor, if a customer purchases his product from the clothing category, uh, the price of the product is $10, uh, then uh, the if the fixed uh, uh, applicable uh, commission on that on the category is uh, $2, then the admins would the amount would be two dollar commission and the rest eight dollars would be of the marketplace vendor so for this respective one we can set up uh, the category commission for each of the categories where this particular uh, vendor would be adding his uh, products so that's how we can set up the category commission for the respective vendors of the uh, marketplace one by one as well now let's see how the uh, marketplace admin can set up the vendor product commission. So uh, for that, uh, the marketplace admin needs to navigate to catalog and then products. And here from the list of the products, uh, the admin can choose the respective product of a vendor for which he wants to set up the uh, product commission for that particular vendor. So uh, let's go for this uh, digital camera. Let me tap on that and uh, that brings up the uh, manage a product page uh, for the digital camera itself and here's the edit uh, page for the product so here for the product the admin just needs to uh, navigate to the section that's uh, the prices section for the respective product and from here the marketplace admin can set up the uh, commission per product uh, for the uh, marketplace vendor product. So for this we can set the uh, commission for this particular product as six uh, dollars uh, Depending upon what you've chosen in the initial configurations there. So now whenever this product gets the uh, purchased uh, For example, it's for a uh, hundred dollars then uh, the admin commission would be six dollars and the ninety four dollars would uh, go to the marketplace vendor uh, whose product uh, is this 
this. All right, so that's how the marketplace admin can set up the marketplace vendor product uh, uh, commission by navigating to the particular product and setting up the commission uh, per product from the section that's catalog, then products, choosing the product, going to the prices tab, uh, and uh, setting up the commission for the per product there. Now, uh, uh, in the case if the commission on a product uh, is not set, for example, in the case uh, if we have not set the commission for the uh, product under this section, uh, then the commission on the seller category will get the priority, okay? And uh, if both of them are not set, then the default category commission that the admin has set up would be used for the applicable commission itself. Now, uh, coming to the commission rules, uh, if you remember within the configuration section, let me take you there once again. Stores and configuration, I'll be opening it up in another window and uh, let the page come up. And before I open the configuration uh, page, let me show you from where uh, we'll be able to set up the commission rules. So for that, we'll have to go to the marketplace uh, management and here we'll have to go to the uh, manage commission rule. So under the menu here, you'll find the manage commission rules. So let me tap that up. So initially we had set the use commission rules as no. So we'll choose it as yes. And we'll set up uh, whether to use the round of price or not. And then we'll be tapping here on the save configuration button. After that, we'll now go to the section that I've just shown you. That's marketplace management and manage commission rules. So uh, let me open that up. So here we are on the Manage Commission Rules. So from here, the Marketplace Admin can set up the uh, uh, Commission Rules and uh, from the drop-down, he can delete any of the created ones. If it's the first time, then this section would be empty. You can create uh, new Commission Rules. You can choose to edit or delete them as well. Uh, you can filter them out as well using the various uh, uh, details here. To add a new Commission Rule, just tap here on the Add New Commission Rule button. And that will bring up the section wherein we'll be setting up our new commission rule. So uh, we'll have to enter the commission rule information and that includes the type of the commission, whether you want to have fixed amount or the percentage uh, of the product price. And uh, then you can set up the uh, product price from, for example, 100 to 1000. The commission amount would be set it as 9 uh, there. So $9 in case of fixed would be set up as the commission if the uh, product that's going to be purchased by a customer falls within the price range of $100 to $1,000. So that's how you can set it up. If it was in the case of like percentage, then 9% uh, of the product price would be the commission uh, when the product uh, price falls between the amount that is $100 to $1,000. 9% of the product price would be the commission amount for the marketplace admin there. Then after just tap here on the save commission rule to save your particular commission. And here you can see that uh, this price range already exists. That's why we got this uh, uh, error here that the uh, price range already exists. So here you can see the uh, complete list and the columns like the price from and two values, one to 200, type is percentage, commission is 15% of the product price. This is uh, $20 fixed. If the product falls between 201 and $300, uh, we can also edit it uh, by choosing the appropriate uh, option there. And then we can also change it. We can change the price from and two values and the commission as well. So that's how you can uh, set up the uh, marketplace uh, uh, commission rules by navigating through marketplace management and then manage commission rules uh, option. Kindly note uh, that the marketplace admin would not be able to create a new commission rule uh, for the already existing product price range. So you just saw that I used uh, 100 to 1000 there, but uh, we got an error that uh, we cannot create a commission rule for the already existing product price range. So the admin can add and edit the commission rules uh, and for that, uh, the admin will uh, just change the details that I've already shown you by tapping here and choosing the edit option. And uh, to add a new one, you just tap here on the add new uh, button at the top right hand corner. Now, uh, uh, one more time, let me edit one of these uh, commission rules. 
So, uh, it, for example, let's say that a customer has bought a, a product of a vintage within the marketplace and the price of that product is uh, $55, for example, or uh, $55 and, uh, for example, 50 cents. Then, if the uh, commission type has been set as fixed and the commission rate is uh, as uh, $20, then the admin will get $20 as the commission. And uh, if the admin has set it as a uh, percentage, uh, then uh, uh, the admin will get it as uh, 11 dollars approximately that this means that uh, the seller will get the 40 dollars and 8 cents usd in case of the uh, fixed uh, commission and in case of the percentage commission uh, the vendor will get 44 dollars and uh, around 48 uh, us uh, dollars there and kindly note uh, that uh, if the sell category commission is greater than the product price in the category then the admin global commission would be applied and this would uh, uh, be the same for both the percentage and the fixed uh, types uh, as well and uh, lastly that was uh, basically the admin uh, backend and uh, let me take you to the storefront once and uh, let me log into my window account panel once so I just wanted to show you uh, the order details of the orders that the vendors uh, get and how they can check their uh, amount. And uh, this is how the vendors can check the uh, total vendor amount and the uh, total uh, commission for the admin that has been uh, uh, divided among the both according to the set commission by the admin. So you can see that $20 have been sent to the admin and the rest of the product amount for the vendor, that's $40.08. So uh, that was much about the uh, plugin itself and I hope it helped you out in understanding the uh, flow of the same. If you still have any questions, queries, suggestions or requirements, then kindly do get back to us at support at the rate of .com, create a ticket at webpool.qds.com or contact us through uh, www.webpool.com forward slash contacts. And lastly, if you find this particular video helpful, then do give it a thumbs up. And thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead.